Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually on a look that I wore in a video a couple months ago and somebody wanted a tutorial on it. I totally forgot about it until this past week so I decided to go ahead and film it for you guys because it's been long overdue and it's super easy to create. I kind of had my inspiration as like a blushing sunset, some more of like the pink toned sunsets. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So starting off with my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and prime them with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot just to cover up any veins and make sure our shadows blend out evenly and have a good canvas to start from. And following up with that, I'm just going to set that with a face powder to where everything um, has a smooth surface and it's not quite so tacky so our matte shadows blend out better. Jumping into my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette I'm taking this really pretty uh, pink brown taupey shade and I am popping this into my crease area in the outer V and creating the outer edge of our eyeshadow on a flat fluffy brush and then I'm going in to the same tone just deeper with a Similar brush, just smaller, and I'm doing this just inside of what we just did. So I'm bringing this in my outer corner V area, and I'm bringing this onto my crease to where this has a really nice, soft, diffused look. And then I'm going into this really pretty pink, almost like a red tone plum color, and I'm buffing this right over top of that. Um, keeping it a little bit more concentrated though because we're slowly starting to get darker with our tones and I want to keep that effect. That's going to give us our sunset look. And then I went back into my other brush and buffed out those edges and taking this really pretty like orangey pink shade, almost like a coral and it's a metallic color. I'm going to pack this onto my lid area on like the first three quarters and I'm just going to make sure that edge is uh, sharp to where I don't have that glitter going all over our eyeshadow look. Then taking a soft pink, I'm going to pop this into my inner corner and this is also a metallic shade. So I'm bringing this up and kind of blending it into our lid color and I will blend it further into my tear duct after we do our face makeup. So I'm lining my tight line, my waterline with my Milani Cole eyeliner and this is just going to make our lashes look a lot thicker and add some drama to our eyes since everything is so light and colorful. You guys know I love my eyeliner. <laughs> Then for our wings today, I'm using my Mega Liner from Wet n Wild. This one is not waterproof, but I actually really like the way it applies. So if you're planning on bawling your eyes out or going swimming, this is not the eyeliner for you. But it is really easy to use. It's a great first eyeliner if you do not have oily eyelids or skin. I have very dry skin, so it works perfect for me. But if you are oily, I would go with the H2O proof liquid eyeliner. Then moving on to my face, I'm using my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm and I am just applying this all over and this is going to make our skin slightly tacky to where our foundation does not move throughout the day. Then for foundation today, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade W1 and I'm buffing this all over my face with a flat kabuki brush. Then for concealer, I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Concealer and I'm highlighting my nose and concealing underneath my eyes and also my chin area. Then to set all of that, I'm using my Ben Nye Colorless Luxury Powder and I'm just going to pack this on with a um, dry Real Techniques sponge. I really like this because it gives it a very flawless finish and I just really like the staying power that it has. Then going on to the rest of my face, I'm just going to set that with my um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and it's just putting a light coat all over my face to help everything have that more of a matte look because we're doing so much shimmer on our eyes and for our highlight. Then going into my Kat Von D contour palette, I'm going into that obviously very loved bronzing shade and I'm just going to warm up my cheekbones 
and um, my temples and my jawline to where we have a nice sun-kissed look even though we're going into the winter season. I still love a good fall sunset. Then going into the ash tone shade in the palette, I'm just going to chisel out my cheekbones and really give our face some structure as well as I'm going to contour my nose for this look, which I don't normally do, but I felt like this look called for it. Then for blush today, I'm taking my Down Boy blush from the Balm. This has a very pretty, like, rosy plum color to it, so it's going to add that right amount of uh, almost like a natural flush. And I'm going to put a little bit on my nose as well to where we have everything tied in together. And then I'm using my highlighter in Smoke and Whistles from ColourPop. And I love how bright and intense this is. Now you guys see why I did the rest of my face matte where this would really stand out. And I'm highlighting my uh, cheekbones and my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And then since I do have my eyebrows microbladed, I'm keeping it simple. And I believe this is a Maybelline brow gel, but it is just a brown one. And I am just going to brush my eyebrow hairs where I want them to lay. Um, and that's all I'm going to do to them, considering the fact that they're microbladed and I don't have to. Going on to my lower lashes, I'm taking the dark shadow that we used um, at the very end. So I'm doing the same effect that we did on top, just below, and I'm working from a small brush to a bigger brush, and I'm keeping it tighter to the lashes and then buffing it out. And then I'm popping that same inner corner highlight on my tear duct area and pulling that down and blending the two together. Then I'm giving a quick coat of mascara to my lower lashes, and this is my Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. Then taking my Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit from Wet n Wild, this is in the shade Rebel Rose, and I am just gonna pop this onto my lips. Um, I love this liquid lipstick. I'm actually doing a video not too far from now about my whole collection, so stay tuned for those, and I'm doing a full review. But that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as comment down below what else you guys want to see on my channel. Um, we have the holidays approaching, so I'm thinking about doing like a gift guide. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Um, but don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat. All the names and links will be in the description box for you guys as well as a full list of all the products used. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.